There are two types of renal or kidney failure, acute and chronic. Acute renal failure is the sudden loss of kidney function that develops as a result of an injury or damage to the body in general, or the kidneys in particular. Acute renal failure is caused by a blockage of urine flow out of the kidneys and into the bladder. Exposure to certain drugs and or toxic substances, or significant loss of blood, or a sudden drop in blood flow to the kidneys. Kidneys that have pre-existing disease or damage are at higher risk for acute renal failure. Signs and symptoms include confusion, drowsiness, decreased urine output, pusmal breathing, dyspnea, tachypnea, and coma. Acute renal failure is a very serious condition with a mortality rate in excess of 50%. Chronic renal failure develops over a much longer period of time, as nephrons lose their ability to function and are replaced by scar tissue. Usually, this takes place over the course of many years. In the early stages, there may be no symptoms, and progression may be so gradual that symptoms do not occur until kidney function is less than one tenth of normal. Diabetes and hypertension are the two most common causes and account for approximately two thirds of the cases of chronic renal failure. The goal of treatment for all renal failure is to identify and treat any reversible causes, as well as preventing excess accumulation of fluids and wastes, while allowing the kidneys to heal and gradually resume their normal function. In some cases, dialysis may be necessary. Dialysis is a method of removing toxic substances from the blood when the kidneys are unable to do so. Some patients may require a renal transplant to implant a healthy kidney into a patient with kidney disease or kidney failure.